Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 24th, 2023. We're already in the Lion's Gate portal energy, which will come to its peak on 8-8. So if you want to work with me, we also have 9-9, 10-10, 11-11, 12-12, you know, all of that going on uh, starting now. So if you want to work with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be doing an overview for everyone and then we'll break it down into three groups. You choose whichever one you feel drawn to. If you feel drawn to more than one, that is fine too. I will be coming out with a Lionsgate portal video. I just had a card fly out. <laughs> so keep watch for that. All right, let's see here. Excuse me one moment. Okay, so we had two cards fling out together. This is Six of Air. Things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip, and that comes along with life experience. So when they fly out together, we got to read them together. The number on this is 16, which reduces to 7. The archangels are coming in here. They're giving us uh, an energetic upgrade if we are willing to accept it and giving us a lot of guidance, like saying, hey, there's a reason why that's falling apart. There's a reason why that doesn't feel good right? There's a reason why you're stressed out about this. It's not working and it's time to move on. <laughs> That's this one. It's time to move on to something else. So life experience, Archangel Shamuel, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So in general this week, now this could be out in the collective as well, things that affect you personally, but you know, as individuals as well, anything that's not working is going to be going away. If you need to set boundaries, you're doing that. But something comes up where it's just like, okay, it is so clear to me right now. I am not doing this anymore. <laughs> no more. If that's people walking all over you, if that is a job that's not appreciating you or, you know, just something, it's a sudden just, oh, there it is, right? But it is, I have to really drive this home. It is probably the result of an event, Somebody ticks you off this week, okay? <laughs> and you're like, that's it. I'm out of here. No, maybe not for everybody, but let's see what else we have here. The Empress. Okay, so some of you out there, very specifically, you're tired of having your power held up. You're tired of being diminished. You're tired of your creativity being pushed back. Or... I don't know. You're tired of hearing, no, you can't. And now you're in the space of, well, watch me. <laughs> right? Watch me do it. So the number is three. When we talk about three, this is getting into, I, I always see it as spiritual alignment. This would be, it's associated with ascended masters and wisdom and, you know, opening the crown chakra, being in alignment with the divine. And remember, this... I always feel like this is a Kuan Yin kind of energy. It can, I mean, it's all Ascended Masters, but it could be Mother Mary. It's the Divine Feminine. It's the Divine Feminine. So something, and yes, this applies to men as well. We all have masculine and feminine within us. So if you haven't been taking care of yourself, for example, this is a time where that is becoming very apparent. And I'm not going to lie. Some of you might go to the doctor and, uh, you know, you've always had really good you know, results from your tests and all that. And this time they say, hey, there's something a little wonky here. You had better stop doing X, Y, and Z. So it could come from that. Uh, and then you're moving into a different direction. That's coming up for some of you. But for others, this is... I'm hearing taking charge again. Not being suppressed. So if someone's trying to run your life, and usually people who try to do that, it's because they're self-centered <laughs> and they think that everyone should be revolving around them. So there might be something here where you're like, no, I'm not doing this. Or you realize that you've been taking the opinion of people who just want to hold you back, who do not have your best interests at heart. Okay. So this is Archangel Gabriel, sacral chakra, again, creative life force. This could be... Uh, something surrounding a pregnancy or giving birth to a new situation. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. There you go. Nurture yourself and others. So there's a reset here of sorts. 
You have to see what that looks like. I love this energy, and yet I'm a little concerned for some people out there because it's sort of I'm not taking it anymore, and I'm not holding myself up anymore. But it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy to move on. Okay. Five of Earth. Fear surrounding money. Maybe this is why. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. <laughs> I'm laughing because, like, dang, who hasn't been there? Where we're, like, fed up with our jobs. We're fed up with the messaging around the workplace, you know, what have you. Um, this might this might be the thing. I don't even know, y'all. Okay, listen. <laughs> so, like, don't go just quit your job just because, just okay? But... Some of you might feel like you're in a push-pull situation where you, you're you getting to that place where you realize what your divine birthright is. These are making noise. Let me put these down. Uh, your divine birthright is to be abundant and prosperous and to be able to love and be loved and be at peace and live in grace. You know, that's, that's something that you can definitely step into. But then there are going to be all these maybe circumstances getting in the way and this is feeling like this is an energetic attraction let me break that down so why would like okay let's say you're getting into this good place and you're like i see where i want to go i'm feeling empowered to do this let me get going someone's energy comes in and you can have two types of energetic uh interference let's say there's an energetic overlay where someone just throws their opinion at you and even though in the moment you might be like no, that's not it. It still somehow affects you, right? They've put their energy on you. So that's, you know, where we need to do a cleansing with Archangel Michael, decompress. Remember that you don't have to take everything very seriously when somebody says that. It's just an opinion. Then you have the energetic imprinting. This could be used in a lot of different ways. And unfortunately, very abusive people tend to use it... Um, I got to be careful with what terms I use. If they're a psychological term, I could get in trouble for that. But let's just say, I'm not a psychologist. I say that all the time. But, you know, trying to connect with you through certain bad events. Okay, some of you know what the term is. But, <laughs> but you know, it could be something like that. That's imprinting. And imprinting could also be from parents, from family. If you grew up being the one who was always wrong in your family... Right? You grew up into adulthood thinking that you're always wrong or overcompensating, being hypervigilant, these sorts of things. Okay? So this is breaking out of any sort of energetic overlay or imprinting. Let's talk about Shamuel for a moment. Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel is known as, I'm getting chills. Hello. Okay. Love that. <laughs> Archangel Shamuel is known uh, to be the Archangel of Love. That's usually, you know, or the finding angel. But Archangel Shamuel helps you find your way back to you. If you've ever had so many things coming at you that you don't even know what to think anymore, you don't even know who you are anymore, Shamuel helps you find yourself. Oh, yes. So if you are you know, in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, and all the way, 90s, 100s, you know, and you're still having little moments where you're trying to find yourself, so to speak, work with Shamuel. Shamuel will help you reach your fullest potential for the chapter that you are in on your soul's contract. Okay, so that means if later on in life you're supposed to, I don't know, have the family, because we do have the empress there, or if later on in life you're supposed to you know, have your success, you can't just jump ahead. You feel me? So let's say you're somebody, let's say you're watching this and you're in your 20s and you just want the tough stuff to be over, don't we all, okay? And you're like, I just want to jump to the conclusion. <laughs> I want my immediate success so I don't have to struggle with all this stuff. And maybe on your soul's contract, you're not actually supposed to make it until you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, right? That can be very disheartening because it seems so far away. It probably isn't. I'm in my 40s and I know that snuck up real quick. Okay, so just <laughs> just keep that in mind. But Shamuel helps you, you know, for where you are right now. So maybe the thing that you need to take on on your soul's contract is healing, right? So you work with Raphael, you work with Michael, you can work with Metatron for the energetic upgrades, the DNA activation, which again is what the Lionsgate portal uh, it's about a lot of things, but in large part, it is about um, the energetic upgrade and 
having a clear line to your angels, your archangels, your spirit guides. And yes, you can even have an easier conversation with your loved ones that are on the other side. So very important day. Again, you're in this energy now. You will be in the energy later on after that too. But uh, August 8th will be, 8-8 will be the pinnacle of that. So something's, something important is shifting this week. There is an ending. There is something that's just like a realization. It puts you into this realization of, I want to be free. Work with Shamuel, and that's C-H-A-M-U-E-L. You might see some other spellings uh, depending on the faith, <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, you can work with Shamuel to see where you need to be right now. I say all that stuff that I just said because there's a message here of don't push. Don't try to jump ahead when you're supposed to be experiencing the steps along the way. Okay? All right. Let's get a color card here for us. Sapphire, regenerate your body. The number is 38 reduces to 11. 11 is a master number. Forgive the condition of this card. I've been using these for years, but I love this color. This reminds me of Archangel Michael. And it's funny because years ago, I used to perceive Michael in like a red and Gabriel in a blue color. Yes, there are frequencies with color and yes, Archangels are thought to be on certain color rays and, and what have you. But if you are sensing this, like some people see Michael in sort of a, uh, like an indigo, like a purple blue light or purple light, you know, it's okay. If you really, really feel that it is Archangel Michael, you're doing all the practice. You're not just letting the ego come in and tell you this is Michael, you know, <laughs> and you're doing all the steps to make sure you don't have uh, another soul trying to interfere, which is, are you really Archangel Michael of, you could say, God's purest love and light of the highest good, anything like that. So just invoking those words, they're very powerful and it will send out a frequency. And if the being that you're trying to communicate with isn't actually the being you had intended to talk to, they pull back. And don't worry, especially with Michael, shoot. I mean, he's gonna come on in. <laughs> It's going to be a whole thing. But I want to point this out. Look at the colors. The other one's green. That one was green. But these are all blue. So let's call on Michael to regenerate your body. Because there's a whole lot of stress going around. And a whole lot of, I'm used to controlling my life. Why isn't, why isn't that working anymore? Or you might say, why am I not getting a payoff? This is going to be the week where... Some very important information starts coming to you, okay? So I do want to let you know um, on the, I don't know if I can say it here. Let's just say on the clock app. And I swear to God, if you don't know what that is by now, just never mind, okay? But if you do know, <laughs> I am going to be doing channeled messaging. So not necessarily using the cards unless I feel drawn to do that. But um, literally just sitting and doing the auto writing and then giving those messages. So if you want a little bonus, uh, head on over there. As soon as I get a thousand followers there, I can start going live. I can start doing lives over there, but I, I put most of my attention over here on this platform. So you know what I mean? Okay, anyway, let's leave it there <laughs> and we will get on to the groups. Hello, group one. Let's see what is going on for you this week. Thank you all so much for liking, sharing, commenting, 
and doing all that good stuff because it helps support this channel and the work that I do. So again, thank you very much for that. All right, let's tune into your energy here. Mm -hmm. Some of you who picked group one, uh, this is starseed energy for sure. Uh, maybe you have a little like Syrian, uh, Sirius from, you know, Sirius uh, energy going on. Very deeply spiritual connection. But let's see what's going on here. Ace of Water. All right. So Ace of Water is already coming in. For you guys this time and leading up to 8-8 eight, eight, and even after. But th there's going to be this feeling of remembrance. And some of you, especially if you do have a sort of a Syrian starseed energy about you, you do tend to retain a lot of your knowledge you know, I mean, life will happen and make you doubt yourself. But for the most part, this is uh, an emotional regeneration. Now, in the general, the color card said regenerate your body. This is regenerating your heart. It's beautiful. All right. Falling in love. Falling in love with your life again. I want to put that in there. Falling in love with the resurgence of a relationship. Oh, dang. Oh, hang on. We had, okay, as I record this, Venus um, is about to go, or it's in retrograde. So that might happen. Just be aware. You might have someone from the past coming back. Don't freak out. If you don't want them to come back, you know, you can always not have them come back. Okay. Uh, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. So feeling at home in your skin, feeling at home with your situation or knowing how to change it so that you do feel at home. But that spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, this is the time for that. So if you chose this group, oh. It's good stuff, okay? It's very good. <laughs> All right. King of Fire. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice, excuse me, advice from someone creative. This uh, feels like you want to shout from the rooftops. It's almost like that ace of water, that spiritual download kind of moment happens. And suddenly... You just want to share it um, or you're just very passionate about it. You want to share the passion around this. And I'm hearing like what we would say is stepping up. There's a feeling here of I'm not going to be afraid to be me anymore. There's this authenticity. Okay. <sighs> Verve. Having a, you know, a moment of... I'm not going to hold back anymore. I'm not going to hold back on how I see things or, um, again, being a leader. So that's part of it. But there's something else here. It's kind of um, throwing away all the shyness. That's how I want to say it. It's like, forget that noise. I'm not, I'm not going to be intimidated anymore. I'm not going to be intimidated. Unity, the number is five. So this is where... You're embracing what's happening for you. Maybe you've held yourself back and then looked at everybody else and gone, well, why are they getting so far ahead? Well, where have you been afraid to step into your purpose? Okay, so that's changing now. Unity, Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin shows up here to help you be unified within yourself. And when you're calm and peaceful within you, you can have that kind of connection with others. Sandalfin is known for grounding, being in charge of the Earth Star Chakra, Helping you balance your chakras. Helping you, and yes, I have a, an American way of saying that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so balancing your chakras, but balancing the spiritual and the um, density consciousness part of you. Do you see how this is going? So it's, there's not this polarized disconnect anymore between your spiritual self and the physical self. They're coming together. This is really nice. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or, or and like-minded friends. Be careful with this stuff because this is the realm where people do want to take advantage. So always be very discerning. Um, like I want to almost say, if there were a bad side to this, the Ace of Water is kind of getting emotionally carried away <laughs> it's good it's not but people can make anything bad um and then this king of fire it's being very passionate 
And then the unity, it's like, let's all be one in our beliefs. That can get down a road of something that's not what we want. And you know the word, okay? But stay on the light side of that. Seven of air, plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. This is sort of getting off the merry-go-round. This is getting, like, you just go around and around and around, and that's actually how it's depicted here in this artwork. Um, the plans that need revision part, again, I was just saying, like, if you're trying to find this and you start going down a road with something and you realize, um, I don't like the pressure to show up to an event. I don't like the pressure to, you know, I actually, I just saw somebody on, um, on a live on social media and one person was sort of coercing this other person about going to church and the person said, well, I have to work tomorrow. And the person who is a churchgoer said, but you'll miss church. And you can see this person being like, okay, I don't need this right now. Like I'm trying to make a living. Everybody's trying to make ends meet. They're doing what they got to do. And this person was a little too pushy in my opinion. And you could tell that, you know, just in the body language and the face of the other person, they were feeling a little pressured, right? So be careful around this. There's beautiful energy going on here, but if it ends up getting, as soon as you're in a beautiful flow, that can kind of get funneled over to something that's not, that's not great. So you might go, oh, this is my group. This is going to be my meditation group now. And then you get in there and you're like, okay, everyone's really kind of petty and <laughs> not very spiritual and whatever. Like being real, being human, that's all good. But if people are just finding a reason to hate someone else, no matter what, ugh, right? So it can be good. This can be a very lovely time. Just make sure discernment, <laughs> you know, I was going to say that word. Just make sure you're not getting sort of sucked into somebody else's passions. Um, yeah, and don't become a sociopathic <laughs> spiritual leader. Thank you. We, we could have less of those. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, your color card is, how many of you are going to be like, noted, do not become a sociopathic spiritual guru this week. Okay, good, good. So we have coral, a law flow and secretity into your life. The number is 18, reduces to nine. What you're realizing is that you don't have to push so much. The, the lessons are coming to an end. Some of the struggles are coming to an end. But one of the bigger struggles I think some of you who have chosen this group might be experiencing is feeling like you can't, like somehow it's foolish to be spiritual. Now, I know you know that, that, it, that excuse me, you know that it's not true. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. You know that that's not true. And yet it can feel um, almost a little alarming to be in this world where people who are not emotionally intelligent, socially intelligent, uh, they're the ones who get put on pedestals. And they're the ones that, you know, often will bully other people or you know they're just entitled and taking from others so that they feel better we have been in a society that has like i said put that those types of people up on a pedestal and now you're saying no i'm, I'm not going to tiptoe around that so i don't get negative backlash i'm going to step into my own i'm going to be my own person okay and i'm going to believe and connect into my heart space in the way that is right for me I will connect to divine energy in the way that is appropriate for me. I will share it in the way that I feel is the most loving, right? So for every person that's going to be different, everyone has a different perspective. But that's really where they're leaving you guys for this week. So we'll leave it there for you. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. I just want to give a big thank you to everybody who is sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all the things. Uh, thank you for your support and your love. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's see. In addition to that overall message, what do you have going on this week? Okay. There's some sense of completion. Again, there's that theme. The sense of completion for this week, and it's like quiet empowerment. So that's also another theme. But for you, it's very like, some of you may be paying off debt this week. It's something that's been hanging over your head for a very long time, and then you're done. And you're not going to mess it up by pushing on it or um, 
being nervous maybe you're just kind of like just stay stay in this flow just get it done right so that's definitely coming up some people might try to get in the way you're setting boundaries with that nine of air expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies sleepless nights now this was popping out of the deck and i was just saying this has to do with something that has been hanging over your head for a very long time and then finally it's done so i wouldn't say that this is the theme of the week that's that's not what we're going for here it's more like this is the energy that can be coming to an end the magician number one archangel raziel who is known as the uh magician angel you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical do you see this whole evolution here for you this week there's this whole understanding that the things that i've been worried about it's not that big a deal it's not that serious uh, if you guys don't know, I'm in the middle of a move and my nephew is helping me. And I'm not going to lie, you know, moving is stressful. <laughs> it's stressful trying to get everything packed up and everything. And I'm thinking, okay, we got to rent all this stuff to get this out of here. My nephew comes in yesterday and just picks up like three of the boxes like it's nothing and goes and takes it into his car. And so like, <laughs> I look around, I'm like, okay. And he's like, no, it's not a big deal. We've got this, you know? So that made me feel so much better. But you know, that's the kind of thing that might be occurring for you. Something that you're very wor worried about. You realize there's a way to handle it. Uh, there's an approach. There is an energetic flow behind it, right? And you don't have to assume the worst. Assuming the worst obviously does not have good outcomes, <laughs> right? Okay, you have power over your own life. King of water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. This is a beautiful, I'm hearing companion. So not, not for everybody will this be an actual person. But for a lot of you, I think yes. This is someone who comes along, who is empathetic, a lot of compassion, and may even say, here's the solution. You don't have to worry about that, right? For some of you, this is... Uh, I just heard authority figure, but it doesn't feel like, like your direct boss or like an important client. It's, um, so it's not like the CEO of the company, but it's somebody who has some bit of say in what goes on. And that person is saying, Hey, I got you. Don't worry. I, this person does have emotional intelligence. And so they can, um, help you see things in a different way that maybe helps you be more empowered so that you're not worried or, um, I'm thinking of the example, like somebody who you might be a little intimidated by and they're kind of like, Hey, you know, don't worry about it. That sort of thing. There is also some of you stepping into that King of water energy where, you know, you can take charge and not let your emotions get the best of you. King of earth. You're being balanced. I love this generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> a successful time. Uh, confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. This could be a really beautiful week for some of you because now this is feeling like opportunity. Okay, this is feeling like opportunity, but you have to acknowledge what is scaring you and transform that, right? And then these other things can start happening. So let me get your color card here. Test your intuition. Comment down below real quick what you think it's going to be. Okay. It's it's sticking out. Hurry up and make your comment. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have Ruby, rejuvenate your body. The number is 8. 8-8, eight, eight, Lionsgate Portal. Ruby is a love crystal. It can be a love crystal. This definitely reminds me of the root chakra. Something shifts. And it's a perspective about, it's like breaking free of control, right? And the control has been through messaging where you realize I don't have to be terrified of not being liked by my boss if I can go off and start my own thing. You feel me? Some of you, that's what it is. Like you're leaving a job and you're going off and starting your own thing. And yes, that can be stressful in and of itself. But this is also um, like I, I've got to do something for me. Right now in the general, I believe we had regenerate your body and then this is rejuvenate your body. So for you guys, especially the physical part of you and all of you actually, but 
Um, pay attention to your body. Pay attention to what the stress is doing. I'm hearing alarms. Like there could be alarms sort of going off in your body. And nothing, it doesn't have to be anything terribly serious. But if you have back pain, for example, maybe look into why that is. Right? Like check with the doctor. See what kind of, check with the doctor for the physical part of it. And from a spirituality standpoint only, you know, we talk about how energy can get stuck in the body and what that might be uh, signifying. So keep that in mind. We'll leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hello, group three. Let's see what is going on for you. I just want to say thank you to everyone who supports me, you know, liking, sharing, subscribing, you know, doing all of that. Uh, following me over on other platforms. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, let's tune into your energy and see what else you have going on in addition to the general part of this reading. That's the other part of your message. Okay. Ten of water. Okay, I felt like something good was coming. I didn't know what it was, but <laughs> now for me, this artwork is so creepy. I just, I can't, it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion, okay? If you really love this deck, I mean, okay. Literally gives me the creeps. Can you see it? it like, is that even going to be, can you can you see? There's like this creepy little skeleton zombie mermaid back there. And these two don't look like they're too great. Okay, I don't know what's going on with them. And there's this poor kid up here. Like, what, <laughs> what is happening? Ugh. But anyway, it's 10 of water, uh, a contented and affording family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Again, a beautiful, this feels like a resolution. Like something has finally come to a point of completion where it, it, it's kind of the end of suffering for some of you. Emotional suffering. Please do not take that like, if you deal with certain things and you're like, oh, I'm cured. Now go to a therapist, a psychologist, take care of all parts of you. Okay. But this is saying it's, it's a change in perspective. And it's saying like, again, I don't, it's been a theme for a lot of the groups, but I'm going to live my life. I'm going to be me. Now, if being you is self-centered takes advantage of people. Okay, maybe take a note and work on that. I don't know. But like, <laughs> but try to come from a heart-centered place. Queen of Air. Interesting. I say a heart-centered place and then like Queen of Air pops out. Independent, experienced, realistic, witty, objective decision-making. Here it is. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. Oh, like the creepy mermaids on here. That's funny. I think. You don't have to agree with me. But <laughs> but that's the thing. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. And saying, things, these things do not need to interfere with my happiness. I can create what I want. Hmm. For some of you, be careful with this. But I heard contracts and signing contracts and making big business deals. Caution is warranted at this time. Okay, so make sure you're checking into everything and you're not mostly so that some of you are not just getting overly excited and impulsive. And then you're like, yeah, sure, I'll sign. I don't know who would do that, but um, I don't know. Like, just, just watch yourself, even if you're not a very impulsive, like who would do such a thing? No, but I'm saying like, if, if that isn't even how you usually are, you might be this week. It's something that feels like it's um, a limited time offer and you want to grab it up. Be careful. I don't know. I just got that for someone. That's not necessarily the cards. That is the channeled part coming in. Two of earth. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. So again, okay, so now this is making more sense. So maybe you're taking on way too much. You're already trying to, you know, finish out one project and another one pops up. And you're like, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> be careful be careful and part of that might be because you like and you feel so honored that someone maybe asked you to do this or they see you as the person be careful of the people who are like oh I want you to you know be in charge of this project because you're so good at this stuff you know like the person who says oh my gosh you're just so good at cleaning why don't you do that 
<laughs> it's trick, okay? It's trick. Don't fall for it. Don't take on too much. Ego. Okay, Archangel Jophiel, the number's 15, reduces to 6. In angelic numbers, we talk about 6 as being density consciousness. 6 is reworking lessons. It can be um, something reappearing that you haven't yet, you haven't gotten the message yet. Of don't do that. All right. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. See, that's the thing. You know, the Ten of Water is lovely. This is like feeling very uplifted because maybe someone says, hey, I trust you with this. But you may end up agreeing to too much simply because of clout. Because this is driving you. Okay. Are you chasing clout or are you really into what is being offered? But it's an interesting time. I mean, for a lot of you, just the very process of this is helping you um, rediscover, you know, rediscover what maybe what you taught, or taught yourself, told yourself that you wanted a certain thing and then you start to get it and you're like, ah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's what I want. And yes, that could be in love as well. And you start to have clarity on what, you know, what would really work. All right. Lilac, strengthen your faith. Numbers 42, we have another six. A lot of ego is happening this week. Okay. And it feels like there could be a little bit of getting coerced into something. Someone has a beautiful offer for you. And then somebody else says, I have one too. And then someone else comes along and says, I do too. And now you're like, okay, what's which one's the wish version and or the Timu version? <laughs> which one? You know, like which one is real? Which not that those aren't real, but I'm just saying. Um, you know, which one is the most viable one? Which one is not just trying to be happy in my face and say, Oh, we believe in you, and then get you in there, whatever the opportunity is. And say, oh, well, now you're not doing a good enough job. Now, remember, that could be in work and career or that could be in relationships as well. This is very specific and forgive me. But someone out there has someone come along going, oh, will you plan this party? You're so good at it. Right? And then next thing you know, they're bossing you around and saying you're not doing it well enough. It's like that. Okay? So, ew. But <laughs> don't. Listen. Listen, what, what's the take home here? Do what you feel is right. You'll know because something will twist your gut. And some of you uh, might, and you might say, well, what, what does that have to do with strengthening your faith? That's your faith in people, I think. Because someone's trying to use you. Someone's trying to get one over on you. Um, now, you'll see it. You'll see it. Hopefully, you'll go the direction of the more authentic offer. But... Um, don't just let people just charm you because I think there could be lifting up and letting down for some. Some it's like, oh, here's the opportunity. Great. I'm stepping into this. But then there's this other side of it where some are going, I just want to feel important. I just want to feel like I'm worth something. And then you go into it and you start getting mistreated. That can make you feel like, okay, you can't trust anybody. You feel me? Like that's just one example of a scenario that could be going down. So just be very careful and I think that's it. We'll just leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.